ています。Going to be sharing um, how NTI is a pathway for data innovations and AI solutions in the US federal government. Well, we noticed that we're the best kept secret in the federal government and want to let everyone know that it, um, NTI is open for business. They've been operating since 1988. They've evolved over the years and morphed into creating data innovations and artificial intelligence um, solutions. We'd like to share how the public, private, and academia can partner via the JVP program to provide solutions to the U.S. government and its citizens. Well, I've been in AI for a while now. I, from when I've been, from experience, AI is a transformative and disruptive um, technology. It will be around for a long time because of the creative solutions that have been implemented. The developer's intent is to make the solutions better, which um, might in, um, influence the performance of the AGI. However, if human intervention is designed with a the system, then the AGI should be controlled more responsible AI, it should be transparent, it should be, you know, accountable, um, I see. responsible AI, um, um, should look for into responsible AI resources. And, um, and um, also, that's why the human intervention is important. That way, the model doesn't go, you know, haywire, go just in opposition to the mission of why it's involved. So that leads, that's basically what we discussed in our last question, which is basically operations, you know, responsible AI, operations of responsible AI systems, because some of these um, systems, some sometimes most of them are in research and the ones that are in operations, we want to make sure that they're responsible, we want to make sure that they're you know, accurate, they're, you know, accountable. There is, there is um, transparency in there. Um, another portion of this is we're also um, experiencing shortage, shortage of data scientists due to complexity and compliance of AI systems. Sometimes, you know, and that's why I say shortage, you know, uh, expertise sh shortage. And so right. it's like, they and that's why ai is growing it's like the the it's a ai is growing at an exponential rate why the expertise is not as growing is not meeting up with the with the uh rate of uh rate of the ai system so that's a huge shortage we need to uh we need to start thinking of growing that um expertise and just increasing that expertise. And that way, um, we have a lot of people looking into responsible AI, looking at, you know, how responsible our operations are. Well, if you if you keep looking into that area, one way or the other, one thing that I've noticed is it's such a transformation technology that it's not a it's not like it's not like we're looking into it is already here and you know if we look at a lot of the issues we have is like it, um, it provides new and creative solutions to old and long-standing problems and so the moment it's solved that it, the moment those um, solutions solve the problem it's like everybody wants to know about it so it's not then the question no more because are we ready for it because it's already solving some, uh, some problems that we actually have and that's why ai not only ai you know the ai tools and infrastructures it's like they're on point solutions as of that as of the present because 
it's working, it's solving those problems. So way back when Google started, remember, mm -hmm. we have all this, we have all these, um, all these uh, data and we don't know how to, we don't even know where they are. But the moment Google start collecting them, it was like, it was just solution at the right time. So those web 3.0 and all those um, new technologies, it's like solutions at the point of solving those problems. So if, are we ready for it? It's not an answer, it's not, it's not a yes or no answer because it's already solving some solutions for some <laughs> people right at that point. You know, you understand what I'm coming. It's like, it's like um, solution at the point of the, of solving the problem. So if it's solved one, it's solved two, people tend to go ahead and use it. It's not like, are we ready anymore? It's like, it's like, it's just, that's how, that's how um, fast and how transformative and how disruptive the technology is. It's like, oh, it worked for you. Let me try it on my, you know, and that's how it starts spreading. Well, as far as I can tell, to the knowledge I know of is what um, is what DOC is doing, which is basically we are um, following the Executive Order 13960, which um, implements or governs, um, which implements or govern um, or governs uh, responsible AI systems. Right. And that's and and that for us is how we set examples of making sure that all our AI systems are responsible, they're transparent, they're um, they they follow um, it's transparent, it's fair, it's equitable, and um, and we keep on um, implementing or making sure our systems follow that standard. So, uh, in that sense, we're leading the way. In that sense, when not only leading the way for other federal um, agencies in the U.S., we're also leading the way for the world. And um, and in East, which is under um, under Department of Commerce, is also um, making sure that they have the risk management framework. They have us other um, frameworks that we're going to share in the conference, and uh, which is our responsible AI uh, resources which we're going to be sharing. I think they should have missed this because um, I think it will enhance knowledge about the world of AI and data analytics. It will also give them uh, the process of applying to the JVP program um, to partner with the National Technology Information Service to give the U.S., um, you know, the U.S. government uh, solutions and provide solutions so like i initially said ntis is open for business and we want to uh, kind of tell the world that we're out there um, partnering with academia private and public um, institutions to provide those solutions so it's like come on, come all, and come and see, and come and hear the process of applying to that program. Mm -hmm.